All right, so today I'm going to talk about why it's important to plan your Instagram feed, whether you're a photographer, a videographer, or an artist of some kind. I'm going to be specifically speaking more from a photographer's point of view because that's who I am, but this advice should relate to all artists of all kind. When I talk about planning Instagram feed, I'm talking about arranging your posts, you know, your photos or videos in that grid in a way that would catch somebody's attention the moment they set their eyes on your Instagram feed or your Instagram account. I'm gonna talk more about it in a few seconds, but first, my name is Patrick, my friends call me Patty. I'm a photographer first, videographer second, and welcome to my YouTube channel. One of the reasons why you should plan your Instagram feed is first impressions matter a lot. See, the reason why I follow another photographer on Instagram is because their page has attracted me the moment I set my eyes on their account. You know, it's like an inspiration. I'm inspired. Now, this goes without saying, you're not going to attract everybody on Instagram, but you are going to attract the demographic or the type of people that you are trying to target your Instagram for. Whether you're trying to inspire other creatives or you're trying to attract models or clients in hopes that they could end up working with you. In my case, as a photographer, in my experience, I am trying to attract swimmer brands and models as well. I in hopes that, you know, I can hopefully work with them in the future. And I've actually been, ended up being followed by a few swimmer brands who some of them have actually ended up being my client. So remember, first impressions matter a lot. Which, you know, this brings me to my next point, which is pretty much just a follow-up or a build-up of what I just said, is that planning your Instagram feed can attract opportunities. I know that Instagram is obviously a social media app and it should be treated as so but it can also be a portfolio for your artwork. A portfolio where it's easy for people to connect, engage, and communicate with you as an artist. Now, I've seen YouTubers out there, you know, getting sponsored by Squarespace and encouraging people to build their own website. Don't get me wrong, I have my own Squarespace website where, you know, I have my own professional website to pretty much show my artwork, my professional portfolio, if you will. People and clients, they don't find me through, you know, searching on the World Wide Web. They find me or they found me because they stumbled upon my Instagram page and the rest is history. And if you already have a website as your, you know, professional portfolio for all your artwork, all your previous work, you should also treat Instagram as a portfolio, a professional portfolio. So... How do I plan my Instagram feed? There are a couple of free apps on the App Store or on the Google Play Store that actually helps you out with planning your Instagram feed. Of all of the ones that I found, I think the best one of them all is called Preview. Not sponsored, by the way. On this app, you can add photos from your phone's gallery or you can add them directly from your Instagram page. And you can, you know, arrange your post around in that grid and you can see where this post or that post should look good on. You can also edit the post on that app by adding captions and even adjusting the filters or applying filters on the post. And you can also add a post there with a 10 photo or 10 content carousel, just like on Instagram. But on the preview app, you can also arrange the order you want to put these photos in that carousel. So for me personally, I like to have filler posts in my Instagram. So I have the carousel posts, which have like five to 10 photos in them, you know, that showcases my followers. The, the contents or, you know, the photos that, ha that I have from that photo shoot, like a set of photos that I have from that photo shoot. And then in between these carousel posts are just a single, you know, one post that's like a landscape shot or like a, a detailed shot of some kind. And I call that as a filler post. I do this so that, you know, my Instagram is not just full of like booty pics and topless models or else I'm going to get my Instagram on the verge of getting deleted. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. But... Also, the reason why I have these filler posts is that it has some kind of like visual flow throughout my Instagram page. But also having these filler posts helps my Instagram follow like a certain theme, a consistent color scheme or aesthetic, if you will. And all of this helps when I use the preview app to, you know, plan the flow of my Instagram feed. All right, so that is all I have to share with you guys today. Just remember, plan out your Instagram feed, treat it like it's a canvas, treat it like it's an artwork. You want to wow your followers and those who have not followed you yet. So plan it artistically and strategically, not just straight up post something from a recent shoot that you just did. Maybe have like a filler post and it can be anything like it doesn't have to be just a landscape shot, but maybe like, you know, use a filler post as like a teaser for an upcoming carousel set or a post that you are about to post. Anyways, I hope this video was useful to you. And if it was, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. See you later. Peace.